So you wanna do some macro photography, but there is nothing at all to photograph. It's the muddiest, darkest, most grey and boring day in the whole winter. What do you do? In this video I'm gonna give you some ideas. My first tip is to look for water. You can make some interesting abstract patterns just by shooting the water when it's moving from different angles. You can also shoot details from trees and try to use silhouettes to make more dramatic images. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I also love to photograph water drops. Whenever it has been raining, you can find them hanging in different places and it can make for some very beautiful and interesting abstract photos. Another thing that you can find all year round is moss of different kinds. And while I think this subject is really hard to make beautiful photos of, it's good practice and with the right angle and the right background it can look pretty interesting. Another thing that is really important to think about in macro photography is how you angle the camera to get the right contrast from the background. Depending on what you have in the background your photo can look very different. So always make sure to try different backgrounds. With this subject I tried a lot of different angles and in the end I found a good one where the landscape is in the background. For my next tip I would like to recommend ice. Particularly this kind of half melted ice can look beautiful and ice in all its forms while being a challenging subject contains very beautiful details that can make for amazing photos if you just have some patience to find the right light and the right background. I was in this area only like three weeks ago and I was a bit hesitant to return here today because I figured I will just make exactly the same photos as last time. But in only three weeks quite a lot has changed and just some small variations in how warm it is can make the ice look very different from before. So I had a lot of fun today in Sandemar.
sometimes you're lucky enough to stumble upon something amazing, something a bit unexpected. And for me today, that was this feather. Probably my favorite photo of today. I found even more feathers. And here is a 16 photo focus stack. This is the only stacked photo in this video. All the other photos are single shots. One thing I think you should always consider in macro photography is sitting down more to look around. I find some of my best photos when I'm sitting down to photograph something else. And then all of a sudden I discover something amazing that I hadn't seen before just because I was sitting down closer to the ground. So do stop and sit down more. You will find more interesting subjects. I have found that I really enjoy using the Olympus OM-1 with the 90mm lens, even when not focus stacking. It's something amazing with having this extreme magnification, which corresponds to four times on full frame, while still having good autofocus. It's a really nice experience to use this combination. What kind of macro photography do you do when there is nothing to photograph? I would love to hear it, please tell me in the comments and thank you for watching this video.